All right, welcome back. So today what we're gonna do is we're going to learn how to record footage from your game using OBS. So right now I've got my finished game. Uh, I can actually hit play here and then it opens in a separate window, which I can maximize, which I will want to do here in a minute. Um, then I can play my game a little bit. I can jump around and show some cool, interesting stuff uh, that this game actually doesn't have yet and I died. Okay, cool. So now we've got that, what we want to do is record it. So I'm going to open up OBS by typing OBS Studio 64-bit and it'll bring this up, okay? Now, the settings in OBS, the default settings down here, we're going to look for screen only. So screen only and then we can make sure that display capture is set up because what we want for our scene is screen only. So when I move this around, you should be able to see a really kind of trippy view where we're getting a view of everything. So I'm going to start recording, okay? So now that this is recording, I'm gonna go back to my screen here and I'm going to maximize this view by hitting play. And then I'm going to full screen it and I'm going to play a little bit. So right now OBS is recording. You know, I've got my, uh, I wanna make it look cool. If you have a cool feature, uh, feel free to do a bunch of these, uh, go through these sections that are cool, jump to different parts. You can also catch different sections if you want to. Um, show off all your different features and die. Okay, cool. So now that that's done, I go back into OBS, which has been recording. I'm going to stop recording, okay? Now what that has done is that has saved that in here. So we wanna to go to show settings folder, or actually settings, we go to settings. Um, you can see output and under output you can find out where it saved it. So it went to C, users, Donna, and in my case it'll be whatever for you. So I've made it to C, it's under users, Don and videos, and you'll see here's my footage. I can double click that footage and you can watch me record. Now the audio itself won't be, uh, will be recorded. So that will be fine. Uh, there's my full screen and maximizing jumping around running around the game and that's how you record video using obs it's actually really simple so once we have our footage the next thing we want to do i'm going to close this footage and now what we're going to do is figure out how to use that in premiere okay so we're going to open up um, adobe premiere pro all right, now once it's loaded, we're going to go to New Project, and we're going to change the capture format to HDV, or High Def Video. Uh, don't worry about scratch disks, but for location, you wanna make sure you know where your location is gonna be. So I'm putting mine in a projects folder that I know where it is. You can put yours wherever you want. Mine is going in Premiere Pro 6.0. So there's my folder, so I know where it's going to be, and I'm going to call this Crooms Quest Add. Okay. Okay, so we're going to want HDV 1080p 30, because that'll that's what we want. The sequence can be sequence one, it doesn't really matter, that's fine. And we can hit okay. It'll take a second to load, but then once it loads up, this is what we'll have. Now, go to where you have your video. Yeah, let's drag it on the timeline. Uh, doesn't match sequence settings. Um, let's keep the existing settings because we know that the settings are 1080p um, by 30, so we're gonna keep that, keep existing settings. So what we're gonna do here is now look at our video. Okay, we can adjust our video uh, so this is the timeline. Whatever's the highest thing on the timeline is what you will see. Okay, you see I can scrub through the video and it looks fine. Um, I'm going to want to clip that beginning part off. I just want the part where I'm playing it in full screen. So starting here. Now, see how like it's kind of small here and it's difficult to see? We want to zoom in. So if you hold Alt, you can zoom in. You can also adjust the zoom down here. But what I want to do is get to the point where I'm just starting to play, right, right, 
there. Sure. Now I can grab this section of the video. And notice I've got video and audio, but usually they're linked together. So I'm taking this and moving it all the way to this line. That way there's no footage of me like starting OBS and stuff like that. I'm going to slide this over because they're still connected because the audio and video are connected. We can see that uh, through here. Um, so now we've got this video playing and it's almost 30 seconds. Maybe it is 30 seconds and that's good. But we have this extra stuff at the end we don't need. Like we don't need any of that. Uh, yeah, let's cut it there. So I'm going to drag this back. Now this is called non-destructive editing. So if I ever wanted to, I could drag this back out and it's all still there. So when I, I'm not actually deleting stuff, it's just modifying what it's showing you. So this is the footage I have. Now let's say I want to add my, uh, logo. I'm going to drag it in and drag it on top. Now this is a still image. Okay. So this logo is a PNG. So because it's a PNG, it can just float over top and notice it sort of flashes in and then flashes away. Okay. So if my logo is going to start here, so let's say the game starts like this and maybe I want the logo to be bigger, select the logo itself, and then I can go to scale to frame size. So now it's going to be big, right? What we want to do now is add some titles. Okay, so we're going to add a new title and it's going to be a still title. All right, let's keep it 1920 by 1080 time base. We'll do 30 frames a second and yep, we'll do NTSC widescreen. Yeah, there we go. And then we'll call it uh, title. Okay, cool. Now this is our title right now all we're seeing right now is just the what we're writing so i'm just going to type in here using the tools i'm going to call it crooms quest and all the standard tools that you've ever messed with before you can change your font here um, i want to make it that and i'm going to make the font size larger um, and I'm not going to spend a ton of time adjusting this. This would be something that you would definitely want to make sure that looks the way you want it to look um, and, and set up that way. You can change the fonts here through there. You can put like whatever stuff on it. So we've got that and then we can adjust the location through here. So I'm going to put Crooms Quest. Sure, that looks pretty good. By the way, these boxes, these outside boxes show you the size that you have to work with. You want to make sure all text is inside this middle box, which is called a text safe box. Um, so there you go. You could adjust all your fills and stuff like that, but we're, we're good with this for now. So when we close that, we can now go down here to Crooms Quest and I can drag this over and this is my titles. So if I scroll over, you can see Crooms Quest pops up. I've got my logo. So if I want, I can make sure those line up together, right? And maybe you want another set of titles. So I can even duplicate this title, double click it, and then edit it. Mm. Awesome features. <laughs> That's so stupid. Okay, cool. But I'm going to drag this over. Oops. Uh, close this. And once again, this is in my... Um, project folder I can drag this on to make sure you grab it in the middle so I'm gonna have this section here where it says awesome features and you know what I want it to be highlighted awesome features so that you can see it really well um, and it's not over so I'm actually going to take this section I'm going to cut it so there's a bunch of tools over here but what I want to do is cut the middle of this video all right so um, we're going to use the razor tool and click there. And what it does is it takes our video and cuts it into two sections. I'm going to go back to the arrow tool and I'm going to move it over. I'm going to put this here and then I'm going to have it line up with this section. So now when I hit play, so I hit play, but awesome features. Cool. And now it shows it continues back. Now we might want to actually change it so it looks like we're in a different spot of the video. So it doesn't look quite so obvious. So, I mean, some people may know it'd be better if like this was a different level or something, 
um, whatever. But that razor tool is really, really useful because you can just quickly snip, grab the arrows, move it over. And let's say I've got this section. I'm going to copy and paste it and drag it up. You could put it in line here and then drag everything and slide it over. So now it's all on the same track. It doesn't really matter. Um, but what it can do is if you've got enough footage, for instance, this, if I scroll this back and scroll this and this back and then take these and leave them and move this all over so it lines up, what I can do now is do some transitions. So what we want to do is go from here, we're going to go into effects, okay? And then we want video effects or video transitions, sorry. So these are all the different types of transitions, but 99% of the time you're going to use a dissolve. It's called a cross dissolve. So I'm going to take that and drag it over. Notice how it overlaps these two files. So what we can do there is what we'll have is we'll have the section where we've got this, it shows the logo, and then it fades out into our video. If we want to do the transition again, we can transition between these two sections like this. Now the only problem is here with this audio underneath, it's going to be a little wonky. But the transition fades out and then we snap back in like that. Now whether or not you want to fade is fine, like you can do different transitions or not. You can have a hard cut like that, that's fine too. Okay, um, but you want it to be about 30 seconds and my video right now is 26.29 seconds. That's enough. The last thing we want to do is get some audio. Now there's a lot of free use audio on the internet and that's fine, but we also have stuff in the uh, Croom's asset library you can use. So I'm not sure if everybody has access to this, but as a YouTube creator, I have the audio library. So I can just pick something from any, any uh, of these here and it's all copyright free and for use on YouTube. Now, sometimes you have to give people credit in the uh, comments or something like that. You can also listen to it, see if you like it, and then you can download it. So it's that simple, just download. You can see the license type here. It's free to use this track in any of your videos, no attribution, which is great, which means we don't have to even say, Bobby Richards made this. Um, but it's not a bad idea, especially if you really like it. You say, hey, check out Bobby Richards page. It's awesome stuff. So I'm going to download this just because it's the first thing I saw and I'm going to find where it is, show in folder. All right. And now I'm going to drag this into my track or into onto the bottom. Now music goes on the bottom. Okay. And we also have different types of audio effects. So let's say now I've got music. It's copyright free. Awesome features. All right, and I hit pause and cop. Uh, I'm going to copy this. Actually, no, I'm not. I'm going to go back here. I'm going to make one more uh, copy, uh, duplicate. All right, and I'm going to click on this and, and type coming soon. It's overlapping because it's showing me, see how the, it's showing what I've got in my frame. And that's why it's weird. So um, that's good. So un, under coming soon, I'm just going to drag this at the end. And then that will get me to my 30 second mark and close this. 29, 30, there. And I can cut this out like this to there. And now I can even take this section, grab the razor again. I'm going to cut it right here at the end. I'm going to delete the rest of this. Now to make it fade out, we're going to go back into our effects, audio transitions, crossfade. We're going to do constant power or exponential fade. Either one, constant power is fine. So we take that and we can drag it onto our audio. Now we don't have to uh, use the default length. We can start fading it out earlier by just clicking and dragging the edge out. So now our audio goes like this. So see how it fades out. So now I can go back to this and I'm going to put a final transition into my copy there. 
Um, let's do what's effects. It is a video transition. It is a cross dissolve. And I'll do that and then make sure it looks okay. So notice how you can actually select the dissolve and then get rid of it. Um, I think that this video probably should fade out earlier. And in order to do that effectively, I can just drag this over and drag this over. And now um, I have to add the cross dissolve again. There. All right, cool. Notice I use a lot of scrubbing. Um, and if the audio is annoying you, you can turn the track off for now. But just make sure you turn it back on before you send it out. Um, if you have audio that you recorded for like sound effects and stuff, it would be here. I usually don't use that in my ads, but I like having it in case I want it. Um, and now we are ready to go. So I've got my 30 second commercial. Now what I'm going to do is export that out. So we go up to file, export, media. All right. The default settings are usually okay. We can match the sequence settings because we know that was going to be all right. Um, if you want, you could change some formats. You could possibly do like an MP4 format or something like that. Um, it's probably good to just match the sequence settings. And now uh, I scrub through just to make sure it looks the way I want it to. And then I'm going to find out where it's going to save it. The output is going to be users, Adobe Premiere Pro, sequence one, blah, 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 quality. Okay. Um, so that's where it's going to put it. So I'm going to hit export. It's going to be called sequence one dot mpeg. All right. So export. That was about 10 seconds. Okay. So that's good. So now I can save this file. Save as. Now this is saving the Crooms Quest ad. So save that. Yes. I want to replace it. Make sure I'm saving it all. And now I can close it. All right. Now I can go to where I saved it, which was this PC documents Adobe Premiere Pro 6.0. And then remember, it's called sequence one. I should be able to double click it and watch it in VLC. Sure. Here we go. And now everything's ready to go. Now you might say, oh, it's got this, uh, the bar at the bottom that we can also get rid of. Um, but I'll work with you individually on that. And that's it. So now you have your ad and it was pretty easy. Okay. And that's how you create a simple 30 second ad.